You told me you were working extra, saving for us to go to Nigeria. You were lying to me this whole time. It's not like that. So what are you saying? That you did into life? I'm saying it's not that simple. When did you become such a selfish person today? Hi, my name is Anthony Ona. I was born in Makordi, Benue State, Nigeria. And I grew up moving around between the Philippines and England, Nigeria and Togo, and ultimately the U.S. All of this was the result of my father's work. He was an ambassador. I ended up attending high school in the United States. First, St. John's College High School in Washington, D.C., and then I ultimately graduated from the International Baccalaureate Program at Washington Lee in Arlington, Virginia. Afterwards, I went on to university at, at Harvard University in Massachusetts, where I studied biochemistry and neuroscience, and I loved this thoroughly, but I always had this long-standing interest in, in filmmaking. Upon completing my time at Harvard, I applied and got into grad sc graduate school at uh, the University of, of Cambridge in, in England to study uh, for an MPhil in genetics. And it was at that juncture that I thought to myself, okay, either I'm going to go off and explore this long-standing interest that I've had, or I'm going to be a scientist. And I took the, the leap and pursued film, ultimately going to the University of California, Los Angeles, where I got in. MFA in film directing, and I just graduated this past June. And now I'm taking steps towards moving forward in my career as a writer and director of films. What's the deal with this guy? Doesn't matter. Just get in there and show him what Tunde is all about. I heard about the Afrinali film competition through the film website IndieWire, specifically the blog Shadow and Act, which focuses on cinema of the African diaspora. And uh, upon hearing about the competition, reading its mandate, and learning what it was looking for, I thought right away that the film I had made to complete my MFA at UCLA Dharaju fit the bill. And beyond that, I was just excited for the possibility to be part of a African-based filmmaking initiative that was focused on having Africans tell African stories, that was focused on the large diverse African experience, both on the continent and outside of the continent. And so I was very excited to be a part of this and submitted Daraju. Don't take him so seriously. He's just cranky because they didn't have valet. <laughs> hey, that Audemars is great. Raw oak, right? Vintage? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's... A classic. It's been in the family some time. Love it. Generations of great style. I like an IWC, personally. I love that white dial. How did I feel about winning the Afrinali competition, about hearing that I won the Afrinali competition? Well, uh, to put it this way, I've applied to a, a number of fellowships and competitions. You know, um, I've been fortunate to have some su success, but I understand just how difficult these things are. For the most part, I approach all of these things with, I'll put my best foot forward and subsequently forget about it because statistically speaking, <laughs> things <laughs> don't look so great. And so I wasn't expecting to be amongst the 10 narrative finalists for Afrinali. I certainly wasn't expecting to win. I woke up one morning, I got this email, I read that I was first place. There was a degree of disbelief and, and shock and, and, and happiness, but all, I think ultimately the feeling was one of gratitude. Hello? This is Gloria. So his father says he takes a but it's nowhere to be found. What does winning the competition mean to me? 
Well, I'd say, you know, the biggest thing is being able to be part of that community of African filmmakers telling their own stories. My general attitude on African filmmaking is that we come a long way, but bear in mind, we've had some unique and powerful African cinematic voices. Like the hallway closet, perhaps. Sorry, is something wrong? No, could you tell me where the hallway closet is? Oh, sure, it's just out there on the right hand side. In terms of my immediate plans, the focus now for me is feature length filmmaking and I'm uh, approaching this in a number of ways. I'm writing a number of genre films to be made perhaps within the Hollywood apparatus or the independent system in the United States. And I'm also very, very keen on making films on the African continent. Genre stories, I, I guess what in the West is, times is, are called art films. And you know the, the community is there, the, the talent is there, and the hunger for for our own stories is there in Ghana, in Nigeria, on the African continent at large, and um, I hope to be able to be a part of this exciting community in a wonderful time.